This is our fourth session. In the previous sessions, previous three sessions, we've worked with a variety of materials. Um, we worked with uh, colored pencils, um, watercolor crayons, watercolor paints, um, and I should, I should mention that if it, it, not everybody has those read, readily available at home, but if not, and if possible, I know that you can order them online. I think you have to pick them up uh, from both Wallach's and, um, and Michael's and, and probably also from, from Amazon. So um, some of you have been kind enough and generous enough to send photos of some of the uh, masterpieces that you've that you've created and we've been awfully glad to get those and uh, so um, they're going to be up on the screen and you will see what some people did with our painting of the three sheep what some people did with our painting of early spring in the Gatineau and last week's um, happy flower And boy, have we got some talented um, people watching the show. It was great good, and good fun to get those. We'll also show you at the end of the video if, uh, how you could send photos of your work if you're uh, interested in doing that. So today, a uh, little bit different today, uh, because we're, we're kind of stuck in our houses and without getting outside to, to be stimulated by things that we see outside, um, I wanted to concentrate on sort of the ordinary in your house. Uh, and we're going to start with this ordinary, all right? So in order to do this, you, you don't need much in the way of materials today. A pencil, three pieces of paper, oops, uh, and, and a marker perhaps it's not it's it's not absolutely necessary but those are the only materials that you're going to need today so take a minute pause and make sure that you have those things uh, in front of you okay so we're ready to go and what we're going to do today is called contour drawing it, it contour drawing is is just an outline of an object this is a pear. <laughs> uh, it's an outline, and what it does is it, it it makes you concentrate on just the shape of the object with without any other details. So for today, we're going to our objects are going to be food, because it's certainly a preoccupation these days, and food's kind of a handy reference uh, around the house. So what I would like you to do, you have one piece, you take one piece of paper and just fold this. I'm not going to fold mine because I need it for something after, but just, just fold yours in half because you're going to do one picture here and one picture here. All right. So just kind of fold it in half and, and have it in front of you. So on the one side, we're going to draw this pair. Now I'm going to attempt in my, uh, to be a, a, the television, the camera crew here. Uh, I'm going to attempt to move this really, really close so that you can take a look at that. It gets a little, a little, uh, a little bumpy as we as we go along here. So <laughs> fasten your seatbelts, I guess. All right. So uh, you've got your pencil, you've got your paper, one side of your paper. And we're going to do the contour drawing of this pair. The thing about a contour drawing is you, you concentrate, as I say, on the outline, and you never lift your pencil off the paper. You just keep on going so that you don't, you don't stop and start and you don't erase. 
So if you start at the top, and I'll give you this, in a minute, you'll get to pause and, and do this, but you start, start up here at the top and just go along the shape of the pear. Okay? And you just keep going without lifting your pencil all the way around, just concentrating, concentrating on the shape till you get to the top, then stop and put in the stem if you like. Okay? So that it, it doesn't end up perfect, this isn't perfect, doesn't end up as a perfect shape, just, you know, uh, exactly the same as mine. But uh, the point is to, to really um, not lift your pencil, don't erase, and don't, don't stop and start. All right? So pause, take a minute, and just draw an outline of a pair on the one side of that folded paper. Okay. Moving on, <laughs> moving on to the next shape. Um, this time we're going to do an apple. And we're going to do the very same thing again. We're going to draw a contour, an outline of the apple. And again, we'll start, start here. I'm going to start here and just go around. Keep it just concentrating really on just, just the shape of the apple, no other details. And then stop, put the stem, I put a little leaf in this one as well. So, all right, stop, take a pause again and do, and do the apple. Okay, now we're gonna move on. We're gonna add some other objects. Food, again. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on the side because otherwise they'd be sticking up the top there. All right, we're gonna do, we're just gonna add some, this is, I guess, by a still life uh, picture of different fruit, but we're gonna try and do it as contour drawings again. Uh, and which, whatever you're doing, try to do the same thing. Just concentrate on the shape of it. Apple, a pear, this is an orange. You might think it's a tomato, that's fine. Make it whatever you like. Uh, pepper, some strawberries, and a lemon. You're going to do also the same thing, even with something like the bananas. So we're going to follow along, follow along with your pencil, doing the shape. You don't have this outline, so it's going to be free drawing for you. And just keep going. Again, don't lift the pencil. Just keep the pencil on the paper. Okay, you come around here, come to there again. That's okay. Back up. And then just go around until you've finished. The bananas and you can put in the stem right. and also just one more thing before you pause to do this um, I've just put in these lines to mark that they are sitting on a table in this case they were sitting on my kitchen counter but um, it just lets you see that they're sitting on something not floating in the air okay good luck <laughs> so take a few minutes and 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 draw these shapes and and remember again that they're not um they're not um, perfect perfect shapes in any way they're just um they're just what what you see and uh it, it may not look exactly like this, like this and it shouldn't have to okay so take a pause and do that okay now for some fun with this. Not that this wasn't fun. Okay. You're gonna need a, a, a plain piece of paper. And this time we're going to do a contour drawing from, and I think I'm going to have to move that back a little bit so that you can see the pepper. I think you can, all right. And see the pepper. Um, and what we're gonna do with this is called a blind contour drawing not with blindfolds on, but just that we're not going to look at what we're doing. So whatever object you have is you're just going to concentrate on it and you're going to draw it without looking at it, without looking at the paper, I mean, all right? So I'm going to start at this point and that's where I'm going to start on my paper. I'm going to look only at the pepper. I'm not going to look at the paper at all. I hope I don't cheat. <laughs> right. So I'm going to start up here. All right. So looking at the pepper and just kind of looking at the shapes. It's kind of a little, little bumpy there. And then it comes around here and it comes down. Kind of comes up in here. 
comes down a little bit of a point there and it comes around. I'm not looking at my drawing. Comes around here, comes over here like this, comes up to the top, maybe the top, I don't know. Comes down into the middle, down in here into the middle like so. And then there's a stem. Now I'll look. Well, <laughs> it doesn't look much like this. And that's the whole point. You just don't know what it's going to look like when it's done, all right? But it's kind of fun. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's, it kind of makes you laugh a bit when you see what, what you end up with. Like, I wouldn't know this was a pepper. And I'm not going to do anything with this. This is just what it is. This is the blind contour drawing of a pepper. Okay. I should tell you that uh, last summer, the uh, participants in the Arts and Minds program uh, I had the pleasure of being invited to the National Gallery and we had a tour and then we did an art activity uh, and the art activity was a blind contour drawing. I'm just going to move this back so I can see you, you can see me. Uh, it was a blind contour drawing and we sat opposite someone and we did each other's face. So if you think, <laughs> if you think we ended up with something pretty funny with the pepper, you should have seen what we did with each other's face. Um, but it was, it was fun. All right. So just to come back, um, just wanted to show you, if you wish, I didn't ask you to have any colored um, materials with you. Um, but this is something that just coming back to our contour um, fruit or still life, if you want to add color to this, um, go ahead. I've used colored pencils with this uh, because this is plain paper. Um, you know, we, we have found out that if we use uh, water based, then the paper just buckles. So you might want to do this. This isn't necessary. I kind of often like just a drawing, just an outline drawing of something without color on it, but this is an, uh, an option for you. So that's contour drawing. Um, and it's fun. What you might want to do is with, with uh, time at home is to just uh, do, do drawings of things in your house. Um, you know, you might want to draw as I'm sitting here at my table and I can see candle holders over there. I might want to do that. There's a little ornament of a bird. I might want to draw that. Um, you might want to draw um, your shoes, your feet. Um, this morning I was sitting having my coffee and I do like my, this is my favorite coffee mug. So I did do very quick drawing with that. So these are just objects around your house that you might want to do. All right. So that's it for today and that's it for contour drawing uh please again send us uh some of the materials that you, some of the work that you've been doing we'd love to see it and we'll see you next time in the meantime take good care of yourselves <laughs>